Yo, what's going on everybody? So today I'm going to discuss lambda functions in Python. A lambda function is a small anonymous function for a one-time use. Then we throw them away. They take any number of arguments, but only have one expression. A few of the benefits of lambda functions is that they help keep the namespace clean because we don't have to think of a unique name for that function. We're only going to use it once. We don't need to give it a name. And they're useful with something called higher order functions, which we still need to talk about. They're sort, map, filter, and reduce, for example. Here's an example of a lambda function that you may see within a map method. We have lambda, our parameters, colon, our expression. I haven't talked about the map function yet. A lambda function is a function you would commonly see within the map function, a higher order function. But that's a topic for a future video. In this video, we're going to focus more on the syntax of lambda functions. So what we'll do is we will create a variable. Let's say double. We'll write a lambda function to double a number. Following this formula, we have to type the keyword lambda to specify that this is a lambda function. We have our parameters. We will accept one parameter, which we will name x, colon, then a one line expression. Let's say with x, I would like to double it x times 2. So what we're doing is we're assigning a lambda function to a variable. Although you could assign a lambda function to a variable, that's not the primary use of them. You would more likely see lambda functions within higher order functions. Like I said, we're just covering the syntax of a lambda function. With this variable of double, it contains a function, meaning we can call it. To demonstrate that, I'm going to print my double variable. Since it contains a function within it, we can call it. We have to pass in one argument. Let's say two. We will double two and print the result, which gives me four. If I were to double three, that would give me six. If I doubled four, that gives me eight. With lambda functions, we can have any number of arguments. This time we'll create two arguments. We will assign a variable of add and add two numbers together with a lambda function. Lambda, our parameters are x, comma, y, colon, then our expression. Let's add x and y together. x plus y. I will take my variable of add. It contains a function within it. I can call it, but I have to pass in two arguments for x and y. Let's add 2 and 3. Then we have to print it in order to see it. And the result? is 5. Let's write a more complicated expression. We'll find the greater of two numbers. I will create a variable of max value equals, again, following this formula, lambda. Then we need the parameters. We'll compare two numbers, x and y. We'll return x if x is greater than y, else we will return y. This is similar to a list comprehension. I will print, take my variable of max value, call the lambda function that's within it, pass in two numbers. What is the greater number between four and five? Five. What about six and five? Well, we get six. Okay, let's do the opposite. Let's find the minimum value. We have x and y. Return x if x is less than y, else y. What is the minimum value between 6 and 7? 6. What about between 8 and 7? 7. We'll create a lambda function to concatenate a string. I will create a variable, a full name, equals lambda. We will have two parameters, first meaning first name, and last meaning last name. We'll take our first name, first plus a space plus the last name. I will print our full name variable, call the lambda function that's within it, pass in a first name and a last name. I will pick SpongeBob, last name SquarePants. This will give me a full name of SpongeBob space SquarePants, all one long string because we're using string concatenation. Using a lambda function, we can check to see if a number is even. 
I will create a variable of is even. This will give us a boolean. Lambda, x will be the parameter. x modulus 2. Modulus gives you the remainder of any division. If x is divisible by 2, that means there is going to be no remainder. We can check to see if that is equal to 0. So I will print our is even variable, call the lambda function that's within it. Let's see if the number 4 is even. 4 divides by 2 evenly, that's true. But what about 5? That's false. Let's do an age verification check. I will create a variable of age check equals lambda. We have one parameter of age. I will return true if our age is greater than or equal to 18. Else we will return false. I will print our age check variable and pass in 21. That returns true. But what about 12? That returns false. All right, everybody, so those are lambda functions. They're small anonymous functions for a one-time use. They take any number of arguments, but only have one expression. Using lambda functions helps keep the namespace clean because we don't need to constantly think of different function names, especially within a larger program. And they're extremely useful with something called higher order functions, such as sort, map, filter, and reduce, which we'll be covering in the next few videos. And well, everybody, those are Lambda functions in Python.